I'm really excited to welcome you to my home in West Toronto that I designed with my husband Dan Hall of Caracol Construction and we've been living in for two years. My family and I purchased this lot seven years ago. We redid the bungalow and then during COVID, we made a huge risky decision to knock the whole house down and build a dream house. The entranceway was artfully designed. At nighttime, you can walk by the house, you can see the Morris Lantern, which is a very traditional feature. You can see the black and white checker floors, which are also a very traditional feature, and the little peaks of the arches. But the nice thing is, is you can't see into the rest of the house. Just off the main entrance, we wanted to have the space where you can put all of the kids' stuff. So there's three little lockers, and they're really cute, and they look great, and they hide all of the kids' mess. We knew we wanted to have a room that was different. We, we, we knew we wanted to have a room that was grand. We wanted something to soften it. So that's where the welcoming arch came from. And it really, really just did it justice. It warmed up the space. You walk in, it doesn't feel harsh. It just welcomes you in. This space is also painted in a very soft, warm paint color. The stone is all natural. The fire glows up nicely. You can open and close the windows. The sun can come in and out. And even though it's a big room with giant ceilings, it can still feel very intimate. Some of the other warm touches in the great room would include the rustic hutch, which I've actually owned for 15 years. The light fixture, we wanted something very simple and delicate, but also had a rustic look, so we chose a restoration hardware fixture that I think I've had about seven people knock on the door and ask where we got it from. Some of the other things in the room, we used some leathers and some soft grays so it wasn't too stark. We invest a lot of money into the house. All of the finishes were top of the line, premium finishes. So when we're at the end, when we're looking to purchase furniture, we were really lucky that we had a sofa that we've had for the past 15 years that I bought from a client for $500 that I made work. So that sofa saved me a little bit and I am so grateful for it. We've tried to create separate spaces, but there's also an element of things being open concept. The back of the house features the kitchen with a sitting area and a dining space, and it can almost feel a bit like restaurant or lounge feeling, and that's the idea that we really wanted. We also used a really playful, modern light by Flos. It's absolutely stunning because it just evokes this really interesting modern feel because you have the Morris lantern in the front and then you have this really modern piece of art type of lamp over there and it, it, it changes people's perspective. The table is made out of old railway ties, but I think it evokes just this like sense of calm because it is so old and everything else in the house is so new. I created this little conversation area of four chairs. Also, the back window is completely open, so if the kids are playing in the pool, we can just swivel those chairs around and watch them. It's great for entertaining. These chairs are the perennial fabric, which is essentially like an outdoor fabric. You can wash them, bleach them, and they've been amazing. I really, really wanted to have a darker kitchen because I love that, so I did choose a darker color. But what I also don't like is when the kitchen looks too dark. So we used a Calicetta Borghini backsplash on the kitchen, which turned out so beautifully. It has the single shelf. You can just have guests over and no one has to ask you where the plates are. Then we did a Zalige tile on top and an alabaster light fixture. So it's super elegant. We entertain a lot. It's a huge part of our life. And so we needed to have a huge kitchen that was functional. There's six places to sit at the island. There are two dishwashers, which is the best thing ever. We also designed it so there's only a small sink in the island because I personally don't like a large sink in the island because I find that it just gets cluttered with dishes. So we tucked away the cleaning area in behind the glass cabinet. The glass cabinet that we did is fully soft closed and it also shows all of the dishes. So when people come over, you know, I don't have to tell them where a wine glass is or a champagne glass, they can help themselves, which is, is quite practical, but also beautiful. Just off the entertaining dining sitting area, there's the study, or I call it the family den. We wanted it to be a very multifunctional room that could be used in so many different ways, and it is. So it can be used as an office, it can be used as a cozy place to go and read, it can be used as a place for the kids to watch TV. But if you're entertaining a large number of people, which we've done in the hundreds, you can open it up and it can be part of the entertaining. So it's super functional and it's been an absolute wonder.
The powder room, I want it to be very simple. I wanted it to be very continuous of the home. So we used a vertical shiplap and we painted it the same color as the den. And inside the sink was a custom design. We had a little bit of marble left over from the kitchen. So we got to create this beautiful little Calicata Gorghini custom sink with the Callista fixtures in an unlacquered brass. So they age over time. And I just think it's simple and subtle and I've been really happy with it. For the primary bedroom, you walk in, there's a grand entrance, and then you look up and you see this beautiful peaked ceiling. And the windows are floor to ceiling. If you look out the back, you can see the trees of green, so you honestly feel like you're on vacation at all times. And the room itself has so much to say that the furniture needed to be very subtle. So the bed is just a very subtle bed with very soft white. And then there's a small leather chair in the corner, which actually was a gift from my in-laws, so thank you. And to finish the room in a really interesting way, we did this board and batten kind of feature wall that has the double-sided fireplace. And then there's that seductive piece of glass also that leads you into the bathtub that you can see. And everything is just very soft and subtle. And that's kind of the special part of this room. The wet room is cladded entirely in marble. My tile people pretty much uh, almost wanted to kill me because they had to install each one of those pieces one by one. And it was very difficult to do, but in the end it just turned out so spectacularly and it was definitely worth the effort. There is Callista Central Park West fixtures and it's a place that you can just kind of go and just forget about everything. In the double vanity, I've got this apron marble countertop. It just evokes the sense of real luxury in that room. There's a little makeup area. And then for my husband, believe it or not, there's a TV in the water closet. The backyard, you know, it's a luxury home, so you need to have luxury amenities. So we tried to squeeze all the luxury amenities into different zones. So there's a zone that has a place where you can sit and relax with a cozy fire. Then you've got this giant, beautiful concrete pool. And on the other side, we have a dining area and an outdoor barbecue, which is also done in the same stone as the exterior of the house. In the middle of the yard, across from the pool, we've got this little shaded day bed where the kids go to read. And then the cabana, well, that's a story in itself. Dan's idea for the cabana was it was this perfect escape in the backyard. It features his beer tap. It features a frame TV where you can watch the Blue Jays game. It has an ice maker. It has a dishwasher. It has beautiful custom cabinetry. It has been an absolute treat because for entertaining in the summertime, you can have people over and literally everyone can hang out back there or the guys will be out there and the girls will be inside and it really creates this space like where everyone has a space to go. The cabana also has a nice powder room and it's great because the kids don't have to necessarily come into the house, which is also nice for me. The cabana also can stay open like right until the end of fall and we're out there. You know, it kind of feels like a cottage here. We don't have to leave the city. We've got everything that we need right here. So now that the process is over and everything is done, it's just been so nice to really enjoy this space with our kids, to see how they've seen their parents create this beautiful space for them. And it really has been an emotional journey and we're so grateful.